we're making a dragonfly and these dragonflies are inspired by the globe skimmer dragonfly which is believed to migrate from India to Africa over the Indian Ocean. We're going to start with your dragonfly by writing your name on the body and you can write it any way you want. I'm doing mine vertically there. So put it on the front of your dragonfly body and then on the back of the wings because these two pieces are going to be separate to start with. And then we'll, we'll glue them together later. We're using watercolor for this and you can do this any way you want. I'm just showing you a couple different techniques to do this. This is a white grease pencil and you can draw the, uh, actually I'm not sure what they're called, the veins that show up in the, in the wings of the dragonfly and I'll put those on the, the bottom here. And it is hard to see while you're drawing where you're drawing. the problem with doing white on white but if you hold it up to the light if you lose track of where you are if you hold it up at an angle to the light you can probably figure out where you've drawn so that grease pencil will resist the paint and let's start by just putting Got some different colors in here. You can do any colors you want. Let's start out with some, some green over here. And you have to rub it in a little bit, brush it in a little bit for that grease pencil to come through. both sides and you can do all of your your wings with the grease pencil on them and you can mix some of the techniques I'm showing here too so then I'm going to show you on the top wings you can do first a just a wet, get your, your wings wet, and then when they're all the way soaked, take a brush and just dip it in a color, and you can touch it down and it'll spread. So you can do spots on the wing. The other thing you can do is a color wash where you just move all, you wet the paper first and then you go over the water with the color. So if you get this nice and wet, you can add, touch a color on top and make spots. Can drip it down and you can add water to make it move more and then the other thing you can do if you want is to add salt to your paint and that salt will will push away the paint so you'll have a mottled effect Let's do the other side. Oh, I keep track of my brushes here. I'm going to do this white, or not white, <laughs> wet. I'm just wetting this again. And then maybe this side, I'll do more of a pink. That looks pretty similar to the purple. Maybe I used. Maybe this is this. I think I used the same color on both sides. Thought I used purple on the other side. 
Okay, and then same thing here. You can just play around with moving your paint around however you want. You can make swirls. And if you want your paint to keep moving, just keep getting your surface wet. And less water will leave you with a deeper color on there. I don't really have a plan here. I'm just playing around with the paint. And then I'm going to sprinkle salt on so that after it dries, we can see what the salt does with the paint. And then I think the bottom part of my wings, I'd like to put a little bit more color, different color on them. So I'll add, let's see, blue. So we'll mix in some blue. Oh, I got my checkerboard mixed up. <laughs> I'm not doing very well with my checkerboard, am I? It's the pressure of you guys watching me do this. I'm just going to make it all blue-green. How's that? Okay, then we'll set that aside to dry. And we'll do the body and I think I'm going to do the body yellow and orange. So I'm going to do the center of the body really bright and maybe put some salt on it. I may have to add a little bit of water on there to make it model. And then I'm going to do more of a wash down here and on the head. And then I'll go in with some orange. Okay, then if you put salt on it, the salt really needs to dry before you brush it off. So we'll let that dry and then we'll glue it together. And if you want to, you can use a Sharpie marker and put eyes and um, anything else you want to on there. Here's the dragonfly after the salt has dried and I've brushed it off. And I went ahead and glued the body onto the wings.